This team is special because they have great balance. I think they just showed what kind of team and what kind of depth they have. They really pounded us on the boards. They killed us. Once again, Florida State climbed the rankings. Romero now. One on three goes by herself off the glass and one. The Seminoles find themselves at seven in both polls the highest ranking the program has received from the Associated Press. It's actually really fun just because we know that we have so much more improving to do and that we're not number one in the country and that there's still a chance to keep elevating our team. Off the glass, what a pass and a great finish. The key to the success is different players stepping up. Over the course of the past seven games, seven different players have led in scoring. She knocked it down and makes it a three-point game. It's just very hard to scout us. You really don't know who's gonna, who's gonna get off which night. You know who's gonna be the leading scorer which night. Um, we know we have you know very consistent rebounding. That's what we do great as a team. But you know individually, everybody can score, everybody can play, and that depth really helps. You know our bodies. You know once we get deep into March, you know that's really gonna benefit us. A Florida statement tonight against Louisville. But one challenge the Seminoles have not conquered yet this season is defeating a ranked opponent on the road. They get that opportunity Thursday when they face North Carolina. They've got great athletes and um, they move extremely well. Uh, they can shoot the ball well. They've got a great uh, inside post presence in Stephanie Mavunga. Uh, you know, they, they have a great tradition and they, with that, you know, there's, there's a little bit of swagger that goes with it. 7 p.m. tip as the Florida State Seminoles go for 10 in a row. Reporting for Seminoles.com, I'm Jonathan Schlacey.